doing? Recording live. Are you serious? Uh -huh. hey. Oh my god. Y'all yeah, say hey. Hey. Are we going camping? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Well, this will be fun, I'm sure. We're going to go camping tonight. Somebody thinks there's going to be snow there that we talked to. I sure hope not. But if it is, we'll find out what we're going to do then. I'm being crowded. So we got some food for the next couple days. We're gonna go with some friends. We're gonna cook, camp, and start some summer adventures. So we hope that maybe you'll be able to follow along with us and enjoy these things too. We'll do some video and definitely take some pictures. We'll definitely do some video too of it. And, uh, um, but I'm not gonna video setting up our camp because the tent that we have is the first time that we've ever tried to set it up. And to be honest, I'm not gonna embarrass myself by trying to set up a camp or a tent that should take 15 minutes in five hours. All right, now we're gonna look around. We're in McAllister, Montana, at, what's the name of this place again, baby? Meadow Lake. At Meadow Lake, that's behind us, Meadow Lake. And we're camping with our friends this weekend. Well, two days, this is actually during the week. That's probably why it's so nice. Because I imagine this weekend there'll be a lot of people. But we got the tent set up, which I guess I should do this way. I'm not really good at these. And you see what's not on there? It's not calling for rain, so we didn't put the rain fly on it. However, it's a good thing. They're not calling for rain because it didn't come with the rain fly. So it'll be an exciting night's sleep. And so what are you making? Dutch oven potatoes. Warwood family recipe. Awesome. Yeah. What all's in them? You got oil and onion and bacon and potatoes some seasoning and cheese at the end melted on top oh that's going to be fabulous You say hey? Okay.
here. We really like it and we recommend it to you. We'll post some more pictures and stuff. Probably go for a walk tomorrow and see what kind of things are around and uh, uh, let you know what's going on. However, the lake's been thawed for probably four weeks, I would guess. Maybe, maybe a little more. But the kids were in it already and complaining because it was cold. And really, uh, I guess it is. I've got one out there now pulling up something out of it. Um, but I guess I should probably go see what that is. So we had a lot of fun staying at the Meadow Lake Campground on Ennis Lake between Norris and... Yes. Norris and Ennis, Montana. In? In McAllister. And uh, if you're ever in the area, we recommend you try it. It is a free campground, has no hookups, so no water, no electricity. However, it does have a very clean vault toilet. I don't know if anybody comes around and puts toilet paper in there. There was someone we got there. I don't know toilet paper. I thought. And, you have to supply your own. Um, we left some when we left, but we would suggest you bring your own just in case. There's some, so probably won't be there. <laughs> there's some kindling in the area, but you also need to bring your own firewood. Yeah, because there's no trees. So there's some driftwood that will wash up occasionally. Um, a word of advice, though, that we did find out in our um, escapade. Check your tent. We bought a tent from someone off of the marketplace on Facebook, and it did not have a rain fly. It was new to them. It was still in the cardboard stuff, so I, it was not any kind of a try to get over on somebody else. Just one of those things that we happened to buy a tent that somebody else bought that didn't have a rain fly. So we were um, cold. Mama. It was below freezing, which generally wouldn't be a problem, but there was frost inside the tent because there was no rain fly, nothing to keep uh, any kind of warmth inside the tent at all. So check that. I was set up in your yard. And maybe that's something that's normally done that I didn't do, so shame on me. But uh, um, that is a word of advice. And something that's really cool about vault toilets, when you go pee in them in the morning time, you don't know where your pee goes because it's foggy. <laughs> and you look down into the vault toilet and it's like this really mystical, scary movie or something. And you know there's a swamp stuff down in there. And you know that there's stuff floating along in there and bacteria at least and you can imagine that there's like a swamp monster or something like that because it's really foggy but you don't see where it goes it just you hear a noise and no visibility you can tell who tells the stories at our campsite not me Boy. <laughs> Boy. it was a lot of fun uh the kids were excited explored had a great time dog did fine he enjoyed his time. Uh, he walked around. He enjoyed his time away from everyone, too. So he let us know when he was ready to go get into his tent and go to sleep. And uh, um, But this was a learning experience for, for us. And I hope that you enjoy the pretty pictures that we uh, took and some of the video that we took. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun with our uh, friends, Alex and Haley. And their child and we, so we had a good time together we would suggest that you stop there but it is primitive so don't go there expecting luxuries go there expecting to to rough it and have a good time and one more word of advice it's been over 10 years since i have camped with small children and i was reminded through this experience that pack like two or three times the clothes you think they're going to need because they are going to go through them and when it is cold and frosty clothes do not dry very quickly no not at all but they love the water Yes, and there was great bird watching at this site. Yeah, so I'm sure this is one mix up video, hard to follow, maybe not even fun to watch, but it was fun to make <laughs> and fun to experience. So we would invite you to maybe subscribe, share, tell your friends. I don't know, we're not doing this for money, we're doing this because we enjoy doing it and we want to share with other people what it's like to try to camp and to prepare to live a life on the road and we want you to be part of it too. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Wave. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. He's like, who am I saying bye-bye to? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. There you go. Yeah.